Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It is April 2021 and version 6.7 has been released for the C-130 Hercules mod for DCS World. Let's go and look at some of the changes. So, the first thing to say is that waypoints cannot be created in the game at the moment. It will be added back in, but at the moment they have to be added in the mission editor. So, I've got a couple of hercs down here. I'm going to add some waypoints in just through the usual fashion. So, I'm going to put one there and put one there put one here ominously close to these two sams here remember that we can add altitudes to these waypoints but they will not actually feed their way through to the nav system in the aircraft themselves and that's it we're in okay. now hello mr gaming hello cap right change number one we've got to work in stopwatch now so stopwatch on the left here if we look and that's not there basically if we press left we start the hack and it will count up in seconds. Left again, it will stop the hack. Restart, restop. And right click will clear it, or reset it, sorry. Start it again, look left, stop it again with left. Right click to clear, and right click will turn it off. That's the stopwatch. Also, the PFD has changed slightly, so let's go and set the PFD up on this HDD here. So, main menu up here on the CMI, PFD. Uh, HDD position, station one. Okay, PFD, we now have our set autopilot speed in blue shown there, and our set autopilot, or desired would probably be a better word, autopilot altitude shown in the blue number there, currently not set. Also, we've got a new VSI, vertical speed indicator. It will be a white arrow originating from this line here, up or down, and I'll show you when we're in the air. Next, we're going to put the nav radar screen on this HDD. So, main menu, nav radar, HDD position, station one. First thing to point out is that the text and the fonts have been made much easier to see. People were complaining with VR that they couldn't read the fonts. Generally speaking, the text is otherwise the same as when we last looked at it. Added inside the RWR compass rows, are a series of spacing lines showing different ranges currently 4, 8, 12 and 16 miles so if we were to change the range of nav radar so range uh, I don't know uh, 40 miles you can see now we've got 8, 16, 24, 32, 40 and range 40 there also the started work on the overlay this will be populated with all sorts of information I don't even know about at the moment for instance navigation and the first thing is we have overlays, zap, we have a lovely little Hercules in the middle there, yay, hello Hercules. In time they'll turn into a flight path where you'll see your flight path and plan in the RWR compared to what's around you. Very clever. Next, flight computer now has this button, nav control, it's going to allow us to manipulate our waypoints to an extent. So nav control, we now have waypoint zero selected which is a non-entity, just ignore it, but if we increase we go to waypoint one. We've got the distance to waypoint one, the neighbor waypoint one, the bearing to waypoint one, and the lat long of waypoint one, and so on. So this is how we can choose our waypoints at the moment from the flight computer. So we're just going to start on waypoint one. The next function we're going to look at is in conjunction with what we just looked at there, using autopilot nav. But it's probably best if we hop in the air for that gaming. So if we taxi to the runway, I'm just going to set my, otherwise I'm going to set my original screen back up. So I'm going to set my PFD on. Okay. One. Right, I'm following you. Uh, something fun for you to do too is the sky can be very bright with a very white HUD that we have. If you look up, you'll see the BRT pull auto button for the HUD. If you look up, it will be the bottom left of the very top. Oh, okay. brightness, found it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, click it. Ah, oh, it's got sunglasses. So, nice and tinted so that when you're flying towards the sun, yeah. you can How see about my gaming? How about that? Is there anything gaming doesn't know? That's the question. That's a lot. That is, that is a lot. Also, it handles a bit different on the ground for steering. Do you want to talk about that gaming or...? They've modeled the P-Factor in. So what you need to do is put your engines in beta mode, which we will go over that in a separate video when things are a little bit more updated for it. But when you're doing the throttle on the ground and you don't put it in beta mode, you're using all some crazy 12,000 horsepower and all the blades spin in the same direction to the left. So P factor is going to make the aircraft go to the left when you give it throttle, especially on takeoff. So for those who are saying the aircraft is randomly turning left when you're taxiing, 
it's because of the amount of power that it's throwing. If you ever want to go back to the base or whatever your starting point is, you set waypoint zero. Roger. Right, I'm ready gaming. Brakes on, powering up to full. And releasing in three, two, one, release. Remember, put in a little bit of right rudder. Always right rudder. Oh, yeah. Toga. And we'll probably lift off at about 100 knots. So. There we go. Gear up. Flaps up to full. Or up to empty or none. Roger. What I'm going to do now, with waypoints selected in the flight computer, I'm going to press nav on your autopilot. Uh, sorry, I'm going to turn the autopilot on first with that switch there. Then I'm going to press nav. Ping. I'm going to go... Yep. I'm sorry, going to go to the left. So. Roger. What that's going to do now is follow our chain of waypoints that were added in the mission editor. Uh, in lat and long only. Won't do altitude. If we want to do altitude, we can have my method or gaming's method. I'm just going to do my method at the moment by putting up the stick slightly. I'm going to go up to 2,000 for waypoint one. Okay, I will level off at 2,000. Roger. Uh, distance five miles. I'm not steering at the moment, Valley viewers. It's uh, doing it for me. Okay, I'm leveling off here at around 2,000. Altitude hold on. Okay, I'm now fully automated in terms of altitude and steering. Fly me, pretty, fly me. And uh, in terms of navigation, it will, once it reaches waypoint one, it'll, go, it'll automatically go to waypoint two and yeah. three and four and so on. Uh, but you can always jump the waypoints if you wanted to, say something in your mission changed and you need to change your destination, then you can do so. Oh, she's turning. She is turning gaming. Where are you? Lost I you. am six o'clock and low. Hello, gaming. Hello. Do you need me to come off the throttle? No, you're good. I'm still. Oh, you know what? Let's come out of beta mode before we damage yes, the engines. Yes, sir. I want to. Why not beta, but engines. Toga? Yes, sir. Right. So I'm now turning on to waypoint hold uh, two, which is 5.1 miles away. I'd like to go up to 3,000 feet, please. So I'm going to take my. Uh, what if pilots and the altitude hold off? I can't do that. I can't turn out. Right click, hold. right click, right click. Right click. That was the one. It was right click, right. Pull up a little bit, just with the pitch. I have something on my RWR. Looks like an SA8. It uh, says S8 on it. I don't know what that means, yeah, but. That'll be a. Gonna sort myself out there. 3,000 feet, altitude hold. Uh, what vector is that, hostile? Uh, vector is that basically 180, 160. To the south. <laughs> oh yes, right. I'm heading towards this because I have my overlay on. Oh, I've got Ooh. locking tone. Right. Well, or oh, it's autopilot, so it's all about chap and flare now, gaming. Yes, it is. Because I would not dare disobey the autopilot. I don't know why I'm flaring for an SA8, but it looks cool for the valid viewers. And let's face it, they do pay the bills, gaming. Yes, they do. They pay your bills. Yes, they do. They literally do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still on full autopilot mode, otherwise? Yep. I'm letting it fly. Oh, I don't see any Sam's coming up. Launches. Is what there any say? He hasn't. I think the mountains are covering us right now. Yeah. Oh, we're invincible gaming. We're invincible, baby. Oh, incoming on you. Oh, the face. It's right in the face. We're okay. <laughs> we're okay gaming. Yeah, or if uh... I just like, I carry on flying. <laughs> <laughs> Damage models soon to be made. <laughs> Right, anyway, uh, that's everything we want to show. Anything you want to add, Mr. Gaming? Uh, nope, and we'll see you in the next update. Ta-ra!